in and see how it looked. Let's see what they done did to the wreck. And then we'll go to, um, I think my boy said Q, Q, QJB video. So my boy said he, he already locked in with the rise. Some of y'all see y'all locked in with the elites. All right, so we're going to look at this wreck gameplay, and then we'll go to QJB. All right, let's see what we got, man. Let's see what we got. Uh, and this is Cole the Man, by the way, man. Y'all make sure y'all go drop a like, man. Fair use, fair use, fair use. We reacting to the video. Fair use. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the culture. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a first look at some NBA 2K24 Rec Center gameplay, okay? And today is the day we can finally show our builds. The embargo is lifted. So if you guys want the best point guard build available on NBA 2K24, make sure you guys drop a like right now, okay? My build is super OP. It's well balanced. It can basically do everything. So listen, man, if you want this build, let's get a thousand likes right now. So drop a like for your boy and let's get right into it okay now listen guys we're going to talk about a lot of things today we're going to break down the my players we're going to talk about the movement how the game feels we're going to talk about the rec center we're just going to break down anything okay anything and everything so if you guys all right so as y'all see they say the rick uh all new rick coming season two all new rick coming season two y'all um now <clears throat> what i'm here for we're not here for gameplay because we understand that it was a put together content, you know, for NBA 2K24. So we're not here for the actual gameplay. We're here to get an understanding on what he thinks about um, the building system and NBA 2K24 from a standpoint um, of what he experienced, you know. Because, like I said, we go off a of gameplay that is not from 2K24. It's just a put, a put together thing to produce content to bring it back to the people you know what I'm saying so you can get an understanding of what they got going on so be don't judge the gameplay don't take nothing from the gameplay have any questions let me know down below in the comment section and i will try to answer as many as i can okay but the first things first you know obviously we got to point out something that's uh you know right in front of our face okay now a lot of people saw this rec center right away i know you i know what you guys are thinking you're probably thinking wow 2k really just gave us the same rec center over and over again okay now listen if you guys just do me a favor and read okay in the middle of the court it clearly says community day so when i was in new york you know at community day playing the game early and i saw that in the middle of the court i was like oh say less you know this is going to be a wreck mm. just for community day they're probably going to work on something and then i didn't even yes. notice this and from from what i seen they said um from now on the rec center will be the size of the 2k league um court until later on in the day if you look further up on the baseline it clearly says all new rec coming season two so i'm assuming we're getting a brand new rec center i mean it basically confirms it it literally says all new rec hey, I ain't coming gonna lie. season they do got two a lot of space, so i ain't gonna lie though that motherfucker do look spaced out boy damn but isn't that a plus though isn't that what we've been asking for because there haven't been any mid-range game so a lot of people was having issues with that. We wasn't able to actually play the game like we used to. Like, you used to be able to take mid-range shots. In the last two 2Ks, man, the mid-range game has been gone. So, a lot of people been wanting them to make the court to where we can actually play all types of, of, of aspects of basketball. It was not the same size, big dog. It was not. Obviously, you know, I think it's going to be a brand new one. There's no way it's just a new court and whatnot, but this is what it's looking like, man. Um, I guess they're going to drop it season two because I guess they've been so... And see, one of the issues, uh, Uncle, Fu, Uncle Fu, uh, Fo, that one of the issues was... Um, one of the main issues was a lot of people was playing multiple positions with one, spot, with one player. So you had, um, you had people that was able to guard the corner and guard the wing by and guard the paint if they made a 6'9 with max wingspan. And like I said, in comp pro -M, there's a lot of people that use the multiple 6'9s. You know, now the metal may have changed, but I know a couple teams that were using three 6'9s, four 6'9s, and they was able to just guard everything because 
of how small the court was. So from my understanding, I seen on Twitter where they said it's confirmed that they're going to change the size to the 2K League size courts. Busy with, you know. That's another thing. We haven't heard anything about Pro-Am yet. So that's interesting. We haven't heard nothing about Pro-Am. We haven't heard nothing about my career other than we had a little couple snippets. So we're still waiting on Pro-Am content. We're waiting on my career content. You guys saw what the city looked like redesigning that. Um, you know, everything gameplay-wise. So I guess they just kind of like a, were a little bit late on it. You know, they were too busy working on other things. But I'm pretty sure that confirms yeah, we we're seen, getting a brand. We seen the PlayStation symbol yesterday. What, I'm, I, what I want to see is... Um, they had a star also, though. I want to know what that star means. And new wreck, all right? So now let's talk about my favorite part. It's the gameplay, okay? I noticed a big difference. Look at my boy Tough coming up the court, bumping this guard, going crazy, man. Um, shout out to my boy Tough. I'm actually going to be using his footage in game two. And uh, game one, it's my boy Hollywood's footage. So go show him some love. Subscribe to them. They're you know what? That's what we need to go see. Tough like to play lockdown. So we need to go see. Have anybody seen any Tough footage yet? We know he got some type of lockdown. We need to go check that out. It will be in the description, but uh, I need to address a few things in this video regarding gameplay. I know a lot of you guys Chris? probably have already commented down below saying, oh my gosh, this gameplay looks very Stop clunky. It looks very slow. Now, listen, let me explain to you why I think that's not going to be the case in the future. Okay. Now, in this gameplay. Yo. I like that. Even though, like I said, look at this, y'all. Look at how he's bumping. He built a 6-8 lock. It looked crazy sport. I like this right here, y'all. I like this right here. What's good, Mills? Look at how he's connected right here. See, this is one of the issues that 2K had. It's on the TikTok. This is one of the issues that 2K had. We didn't have a nice connection in 22 and 23. I'm loving what I'm seeing right here. I'm seeing the connection coming back. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Type one if you know what I'm talking about. There, there has been a lack or a lack of physic connection within 2K over the last couple of years. So the fact that we are seeing it come back is a major plus. We are seeing people being connected with each other. And that's just something that we actually need in order to play good defense. I need to be able to connect to the guy that I'm guarding. I'm loving this animation right here. Now listen, let me Look at that. Of course, he did release it, and I think that was maybe on the actual player himself, not the game. Explain to you why I think. That's look at not that. Look at it. Look at the contact. Look at the physics. See, this is something that we haven't been having. Oh, in my opinion, it, it, if we have had it, it been in the spurts. It haven't been all day, every day. Not gonna be. He said he's not connected. No, no, he was connected. But I think it was on the player that let him go. Gameplay looks I don't think it was the actual game that very let him clunky. go. It looks very, Look at that. very slow. Now Look at this. He connected. Listen, let He let that go. So that was his. Whoever was guarding that, they let it go, not the game, from what I'm seeing. Let me explain to you why I think that's not going to be the case in the future. And look at that. The physics, like, once again, I don't want us to take too much from this gameplay because there was a... There was something that they put together, but I like the fact that I'm seeing the connection. See, it's some things that we can take from it. It's some things that we can't take from it. You know, I don't know if you if, if that makes sense to you. There are some things that, like, for an example, the adrenaline bars. Even though it's a put together gameplay, we still can we still know that adrenaline bars is in the game. So what I'm saying is, we can't take the entire game and say, okay, this is going to be 2K24. But there are some things that we know because of how the game is made that we're going to see translate to 2K24. Am I making sense when I say that? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I, I, I do want you to look at the gameplay and say, okay, this is the gameplay. You don't go so far and say, this is going to be 2K24. But there are some things you still can take from it.
clunky. It looks very slow. Now, listen, let me explain to you why I think that's not going to be the case in the future. OK, now in this gameplay, I need you guys to know right now they were not able to choose any SIGs, no jump shots, anything. They all had the default ones or whatever 2K gave them. Look at my boy Tough getting bumpy with that lockdown hey, build, man. Going crazy. Let me make it again. Default ones or whatever 2K gave them. Look at my boy Tough mm. getting bumpy with that lockdown build, man. Going crazy. But um, yeah, the gameplay looks slower because they did not have the right SIGs. And if you've been looking at the top right of the screen, every time my boy Hollywood gets like a block or a dunk or any defensive stop um, of any sort, <laughs> boy Hollywood gets like a block or a What y'all think about that? Hmm. What y'all think about that? Is that some... Is paint defense back? <laughs> uh, interesting. Like I said, that's not just too much on it, but it's interesting. Let's, 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 let's go back. And if you've been looking at the top right of the screen, every time my boy Hollywood gets like a block or a dunk or any defense. Anch the bronze he got on bronze ankle, anchor is popped up. Uh, interesting. 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 To stop um, of any sort, um, all the badges that pop up are bronze. So all 10 people on the court at this time only had bronze badges. Mm. I'm not even sure if they had all only? their bronze badges okay. um, that they had equipped normally when they made the players. So, you know, nobody had any silver, gold or Hall of Fame badges in this gameplay. So just a heads up, if the gameplay looks slow. That's most likely why like Fana is literally on. I think he's on a six one guard. Um, Fan is the point guard on the yellow team, if you guys didn't know. So, you know, he doesn't have speed booster. He doesn't have a lot of the badges. So I wouldn't look at this gameplay and just think this is what 2K24 is going to be like. So you thank you. Thank you, Cole. See, my biggest gripe with the gameplay that's been coming out is everybody don't know that this is just, this is a test. It's a testing ground. There, you know, that's my whole thing. I want y'all to understand because I know that everybody don't understand that what they're watching is not what they're going to get in 2K24. So when you're saying, when people are coming back and saying, hey, the post score is going to be OP. Hey, the shooting guard is going to be OP. Hey, the, the, the playmaking shot credit is going to be OP. Nobody know. That's all lies. So I don't want you to go watch a video where somebody's selling you the idea of a powerful build when the game is not the real game. Tell me what if you're understanding that from Anonymous 2K TV. Everybody don't know that. That's why we have to explain that. You might know one plus one, but he might not know one plus one. That's why it's our job to explain that. But see, some of y'all will make the video trying to sell the one plus one. Knowing that everybody don't know the one plus one. See, I don't. I have an issue with that. I have an issue with that. See, don't come and try to. Don't come on the video and tell me something is OP when you know this is a test dummy. Yeah, everybody don't know that. That's my biggest issue with that. This is not the real two K twenty four. So, what you see, don't determine your build off of that. Wait until you get the game. Wait until September 7th when we see people actually playing the game. Then we can say, okay, now I can make a deciding a decision on what type of bill I want to make. Nobody know what's OP now. Nobody know what is OP in 2K24 but the people that actually playing the game, and that's the devs. The devs and, and the few people that they actually let play the real version of the game, they know it's OP. But everybody else, we, we are speculating. They're, we don't know where badge is going to be OP. We don't know none of that. You know, everyone needs their badges maxed and whatnot. And I don't even know what the difficulty was on this gameplay. You Shout out to Cole the Man, man. We, I appreciate this. Appreciate it. You guys are going to see some crazy contested dunks and layups go in in this game. Look at my boy Iggy Mo with the hawk in the that was a good ass fucking steal. <laughs>
and whatnot. And I don't even know what the difficulty was on this gameplay. You guys are going to see some crazy contested dunks and layups go in in this game. Look at I my like boy Iggy like with the that. hawk in the lane, throwing it down. I'm telling you guys, lockdowns are back, baby, okay? I'm also going to be dropping a lockdown build pretty soon, shortly as well. So on the yellow team, it's Fana, Iggy Mo, Tea Time, my boy Hollywood, and my boy Tough NYC. And I'm letting you guys know right now, their team was literally unstoppable. They actually won the logo show or the gauntlet or whatever. Hey, hold on. I know y'all just saw that. That was quick drops off one. Okay, Mike Wang said it was removed, but I ain't gonna lie. It's looking like it's still in the game. <laughs> I didn't hey, even Mike pay attention. Or whatever. You guys know right now, their team was literally unstoppable. They actually won the logo show or the... I don't mind that quick drop off one. It's close to the basket. And like I said, until an update, yeah, true. But um, quick drop off when it's a real basketball dunk. When it's not real, it's taken off from the free throw line doing a quick drop in the middle of traffic. So I don't have an issue with 2K having quick drops in the game. I think it's um, a reasonable dunk. Quick drop has always been in 2K. Limitless, limitless range has always been in 2K, but it never been to the to the to the magnitude that it has been in 2K23, and even somewhere 2K22. We never seen people taking off that frequently. In 2K23, you was able to activate the joint dunk down near every play. You was able to activate that long ass quick drop down near every play. So I don't have a problem with quick drop being in the game. I just have a problem with where you're allowed to take off from in traffic with the quick drop. Gauntlet or whatever. Hey, hold on. I know y'all just saw that. That was quick drops off one. Okay. Mike Wang said it was removed. But I ain't gonna lie, it's looking like it's still in the game. But obviously, from that clip, you know, Fana going up with that, um, it definitely did not look overpowered at all. He, I mean, he took off from, you know, exactly. right next to the rim. Uh, but it does look like Quick Drops Off 1 is returning. You guys let me know what you guys think, man. Look at these guys in the lanes going down the court. You know, Fana meant to take a three, but he stepped out of bounds. Still green the shot with Ooh. lanes going down the Please, please, please don't let this be in the real game the court wide the fuck open and stepping out of bounds unacceptable that i listen i know i know in the past we had a protection wall that would not let us step out of bounds for shit i'm not saying it need to go back to that type of protection but on a fast break wide open and somehow on a video game i step out of bounds no nah. no nah. No, 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 no. That have, that was the issue in 2K23. That was the issue in 23. We do not need to see that in 24. I ain't no motherfucking way I'm stepping out of bound on a video game. No. I understand now. I'm not saying it should go back to how it was in the past. I know in the past, nigga, you, it was no way to step out of bound. But it shouldn't be this easy to step out of bound. Why open? Wide open, fast break, and I just step out of bounds. Nah, 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 nah. You know, Fanta meant to take it through. What do you guys think, man? Look at these guys in the lanes. Go. Bro, I'm not trying to hear no that because he hugged, he, he hogged it on the break. Bro, it shouldn't be a way to step out of bounds on a fast break that easy, bro. Like, the game is not 100% um accurate when it comes to timing so don't punish me because i'm ready to shoot the shot in the game still moving a little bit no nah, man that ain't right uh to throw well they said you can't do the r1 l1 thing anymore that's what they say but some people say it's still a way to do it so, so type one if y'all think it's okay that you able to step out of bounds like this. Type two if you think it's not okay. Let's let's get an understanding on that. I just want to see where y'all at. Type one if you think you should be able to step out of bounds like this. Type two if you disagree. Went down the court. Okay. You know, Fana so meant to take a three, agree. but he stepped out of bounds. Still green the shot with a okay. default jump shot. Now, Fana was and like I said. I'm not saying 
there should not be a way to step out of bounds, but that right there is too easy. And we understand that some of that might not be on us. Now we got to start questioning the game. Is the game allowing me to stop when I want to stop? See, you see what I'm saying? I'm going to spare you. You spare me. Do I say, man, the game fucking trash because I'm still moving? Or do I say, can y'all, can we not step out of bounds that easy? You see how I protect y'all by not calling this shit trash, but stepping out of bounds. You protect me by, by, you know, not letting me step out of bounds that easy. I don't want to be in a game and say, man, this fucking game suck, bro. How the fuck I'm stepping out of bounds? I can't control my player. Then you'll say, there he go again. He complaining. But I have every right to complain. If the fuck I step out of bounds for moving, and I know I've been stopped, but the game's still moving, you see? Now we all safe. You safe, I'm safe. I'm safe because now I get this bust this nigga's ass wide open. Well, hold on. I usually don't say pause, but when, when shit come out like that, um, what I'm saying is, I get to be the motherfucker, you know, for, for not playing back on defense. Come on, we all grown. Let's move past that. Y'all know over here we don't do none of that woo woo shit. All right, so, yeah, so I get to whoop a nigga ass. I get to whoop somebody, but you know what I'm saying? Wide open. <laughs> Damn, boy, it's hard to get past that one, dog. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> let's keep, let's move forward. <laughs> Definitely hooping in this game. Oh, Out right. here with default sigs. But look at my boy Hollywood with the block. I can say, you know, from this gameplay, I did see a lot, you know, uh -oh. the block. I can say. What do this look like to y'all? Tell me what y'all see. Out here with default sigs. But look at my boy Hollywood with the block. I can say. Out here Tell with default sigs. See. But look at my boy Hollywood with the block. I can say, you know, from this game. Six. What is this? But look Tell at my boy Hollywood see. with the block. I can say, you know, from this gameplay. But look at my boy Hollywood with the block. I can say, you know, from. He shot either late or early. Not, not. They said they took the R1, L1 thing out. What I'm talking about is the jump shot. He either shot a late or early. Are late and early going to still be in 2K24? Once again, I know that this is just a put together game. Or late and early still gonna be in 2K24. This is either a late or early Default shot. Default sigs. But look at my boy Hollywood with the block. I can say, you know, from Why this gameplay. And he shot either a late or early. And it, hey, from what I heard, this is just a put together game. So when the real game come out, are we gonna be shooting late and early wide open? Why is that a thing? Why is late and early a thing? When the real game come out, are we going to be shooting late and early wide open? That's not it. That's kind of acceptable. But look at my boy Hollywood with the block. I can say, you know, from this gameplay, that can't happen. That can't happen. It's not about knowing your jump shot, bro. There is something in the game that makes you shoot late and early, bro. There is nobody in their right mind shooting a late or early unless it's a truly mistake. We know in 2K23, you can be wide open and somehow the game is skipping frames. The game is skipping. You're saying people are horrible. Oh, come on, man. Y'all, come on. See, this is what I'm talking about. We can't keep going down that road, bro. We know there's an issue within the game where the game is speeding up and slowing down. So it makes you shoot it early or late. Not on you. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on now. We not. Are we really blaming people for shooting this? So what I'm saying is we need to have that issue fixed. There's no way Anonymous 2K TV been playing 2K for, since 2K12. I don't shoot no early or no late. No disrespect. Come on, bro. Sometimes the game will speed up, slow down. Speed up, slow down. So it changes the jump shot. Now, I understand 2K has a thing where they have different timings, 
But I'm talking about this, this whole, this thing I'm talking about don't have nothing to do with different shot timers. This is a, this is a, a little bug where, where it's lagging and it's like, it's like it's not rendering correctly. So by the time you get to shoot the ball, somehow the game has rendered latency. Thank you. Appreciate you for helping me out. So will this be a thing in 2K24? Please minimize it. Maybe it's a thing that you can't get rid of completely, but this is what I be wanting from 2K. Is it possible for 2K to say, hey, we know there's a latent issue. We are working on it. It seems like sometimes we have issues like this, like this thing we're talking about with this latent early and 2K won't speak on it. So therefore we just speculating. Is it possible 2K that somebody come out and say, we understand that there is a late and a early and a very early and a very late situation that has to do with the, but it's like, it's like their way of going about it is ignoring it. And then we don't say nothing about it. So we just speculate. I don't want to speculate. I want to know. Are you looking at it? Or we, or you can't talk to us like that. And I'm going to be honest, 2K, y'all are being very transparent right now. Y'all are, Mike Wayne is every time something happened, he's saying, hey, we're going to get that out of the game. Like right now, y'all are talking with the community. Y'all are doing an amazing job. And I don't want to take that from y'all. Shout out to the Dells for being active in the community. As I said, I think that's one of the best things y'all could have done. You help bridge this gap between the community and the Dells. You know what I'm saying? So I love what y'all are doing. But is there any way to acknowledge this late and early situation? Or do we just continue to speculate? Cause I'm right now I'm speculating. I'm speculating that y'all don't acknowledge it. Will is it possible to say we know there's a latency issue? We working on it. It's gonna take us another two years to get it fixed. Or I'm just saying, I'm just saying, bro, because it's definitely an issue. I'm I'm tired of seeing my teammates wide open and they shooting the early or late. Not because they ass at the game. Because there is a latency issue within the game. And now we have to deal with the consequence of having a wide open shot. I'm playing for $10 million. I just lost $10 million because the latency issue. I did see a lot. He said, no, there are some people with bad internet. But come on, dog. All of us ain't got bad internet. Like, I feel you. There are some people with bad internet. All of us ain't got bad internet. All of us ain't got bad internet. Up, uh, you know, more block animations, more more consistent blocks, which makes me happy because you guys know in two K twenty three, it was it was rough. It was rough. As you guys can see, the ball just rolled around the rim and it still went in. So random things like that, you know, still happen in two K twenty four, but it's all good. Tough in the corner, unfortunately, did not make the shot. Uh, I'm pretty sure this first team that they were playing up against was the international team. These were the guys from uh, overseas. And look at the 360 comp. The international team. These were the guys from uh, overseas. And look at the 360. This was the international team. These were the guys from uh, overseas. And look at the 360. Up against was the international team. These were the guys from uh, overseas. Mm. And look at the 360 contact. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll have to see when we get our hands on the real game. We'll have to see. I ain't going to say nothing about it right now. You know, we'll have to see. Dunk on my boy Hollywood, okay? I don't know if that guy used a meter because we can't tell now if the opposite team is using a meter. But my boy Hollywood just got dunked on. That was, that was crazy. As you guys can see, Fanta with the walk back, taking a mid-range shot. And break the shot. But anyways, you guys saw Fana do the walk back, but Mike Wing just confirmed that right, was that was crazy. Let's have a conversation right quick. There's a part of the community that think this is legit basketball. Because we can't tell now if the opposite team is using a meter, but my boy Hollywood just got dunked on. That was that was crazy. Can anybody tell me where 
with basketball, they've been watching where you see somebody go forward and walk back at the speed of lightning. Can you tell me what basketball you've been watching? Because we can't tell now if the opposite team is using a meter. But There are some people that think that this should have still been in the game. There are some people that are mad that the walk back is patched. My boy Hollywood just got dunked on. That was. That Do you know what type of... See, this is what I'm talking about. Do you see number 48? See, this is what make defense horrible. And I hope any devs, because y'all, I heard y'all, well, I know y'all listening. I mean, you know, salute to my peoples that fuck with me, that work for 2K. I appreciate you. Uh, but listen, this is what make defense horrible. When you were able to see, and I'm glad Mike Wayne passed it. I'm glad. When you were able to see a person do something that you can't counter, the only way to counter it is to allow him to go dunk it. So if you play defense on a drive and a motherfucker just take crazy. off walking, do you see what it do to the defense? So, no, my nigga. Okay, my bad. I'm trying to control the N-word. No. You should not be able to just... You create office off of fake gameplay. I don't want to hear nothing about this fun. I don't want to be at the mercy of your fun. See, a lot of people try to say, man, hey, bro, you know, it's fun, bro. Like, you trying to take the fun out of the... Man, fuck all that, bro. Why do I want you to have fun at the mercy that I can't counter this? Until they figure out how to completely let me be free? My dude, I don't want to see you walking back. I want to see you do a dribble move and escaping. They call dribble escapes. I want you to escape me without doing some freak of nature stuff. This is not fun. This is not fun. So, thank you, Mike Wayne, for passing it. Look at what they created. Look at what he created by doing an unnatural basketball. And I understand. I'm not trying to make the game super realistic. Listen, I like, I like seeing the fake stuff too. I just want it to be balanced. Is this a balanced move? No. It's not a balanced move. Because we can't tell now if the opposite Look team is using a meter. But my boy Hollywood just got dunked on. That was you feel me? Look at this. The meter, because we can't tell now if the opposite team is using a meter, but my boy Hollywood is... Boom! He done! This real basketball. He just cooked his defender. Okay, now his defender is about to chase him. Got dunked on. That was... That was and he just was was crazy. walking back. No, man. No, 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 no. Get that out the game. Shout out to Mike Wayne for patching the walk back. Ain't no motherfucking fun on you doing some shit that my nigga, I can't counter. Who do I counter that? I let you go take the two and wait for you to walk back. If you're going to walk back, that's the only counter I have. Nah, man, get on. Get on. And then because you got to of see that, Anna with the you were able to go create another opportunity for yourself. Walk back. Nah. Taking nah. a mid-range shot and brick the shot. He said we just suck at defense. Well, you suck too, because you ain't going to be doing no walk back in 2K24. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you guys saw Fana do the walk. Yes, they passed the walk back. <laughs> you mad. <laughs> Listen, my boy Hollywood Q said we just suck on defense. Well, get wet. Better learn how to dribble, my boy. <laughs> Back, but Mike Wing just confirmed he will be removing that, which I'm cool with, to be honest, because yeah. you know that that's not a real move. You know what I mean? Thank you, Cody. Like I was saying Thank you, Cody, man. Just tell the truth. It gonna hurt a lot of people feeling it. They don't want to hear the truth. They want to have fun. I don't, I don't listen. Anonymous like to have fun. Me and my lady have fun. You know. Sometimes I dress up as Batman. She dress up as you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, Suicide Girl. You feel me? We have fun. She be coming out there with her little lighter pop. I come out there with my little belt full of gadgets. You feel me? And I, yeah, I have fun too. You feel me? I, listen, I like having fun, but I don't want you to be having fun, my boy, if I can't counter this shit. Oh, come on, man. And earlier in the video, I know a lot of people are seeing the gameplay from Play Now, seeing the gameplay from Rec Center, obviously now. <laughs>
And it does. I will say it does look a little oh. bit more slow paced, but I think when everyone Get gets online, the servers are up. Everyone is on the game. You know, people make their builds, hit the my court, um, put on their own signature styles and whatnot. I feel like that's when we can really judge the. Game. We're seeing them um, I, put on their own signature styles and I like whatnot. It. I like it. Not. I feel like that's when we can really judge the game because we're exactly, literally UP3. putting on custom dribble moves. And if we can't speed boost or do anything then, then I will 100% say that this game is slow paced. But I, as I of right you. now, I think it's at a good pace. The dribble moves are smooth. It's cool. It's different. You know, everyone's saying this is 2K23, you know, 2.0. <laughs> I played the game early and I can tell y'all it, it literally doesn't feel anything like 2K23. So it may look like it, but it doesn't feel like it. But since the builder is finally released, everybody let me know down below in the comment section what type of build are you going to make? Are you going to make a point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center? Um, let me know, okay? Let me know what your height is, your weight, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys are going to go with, okay? I'm going to make a 6'6 six, six point guard. That's all I'm going to tell y'all, okay? He's going to be 6'6". Six six. That's the second person that said something about the 6'6 six, six point guard, y'all. That's the second person. Both of the people that we were hearing saying about the 6'6 six, six, um, point guard are very good players. Told a man, simply grinding. They both are highly, highly skilled at players in 2K. They know how to make good builds. They have good win percentage. They have, um, uh, uh, you know, it's not like they're trash at the game. Both of them said they're looking at the 6'6 six, six point guards. All right, let's get All right. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting. We have two highly skilled players saying something about the 6'6 six, six point guard. Mm, interesting. Uh, he's going to be very balanced. And if you guys twin, want the full build. Listen, you know I got my ears open. I'm listening. I'm listening, my G. I'm telling you, it's a demon. It can shoot. It mm. can play defense. It can dribble. You know what I mean? He can finish in the paint. Overall, he's it's a good build. So if you guys want the build, make sure you guys drop a like. Once we hit a thousand likes, I'm gonna release it. Okay, so mm. drop a like right now, now and I would greatly up. appreciate it. But hopefully, up. you guys are enjoying. I got my like in. Y'all get y'all likes up, man. We need to figure out. And, and another thing, we need to see what Simply Grinding got going on. He's saying something about a five eight point guard in his vault. We need to make sure he bring that motherfucker out the vault. We need to see what that is. So. We got to figure out what's going on, man. We got to figure out what's going this on. This rec gameplay, I'm super excited for 2K24 to drop. I need it ASAP, man. I've been fiending for it, bro. I've been fiending for it. You see my boy Fana, pump fake. In previous years, uh, that was green. In previous years, that would definitely be contested. But I'm telling you, man, in 2K24, you got to have your hands up. That would definitely pump fake. In now, once again. Thoughts on the template builds? I haven't seen them yet. You got some on your page? We haven't, we haven't, uh, we still, you know, we, you know, I talk so much. We, we, we just now on our second video, man. <laughs> you know, I'm long winded. Um, now, once again, this is not, Dad, man, I've been fiending for I don't it, bro. I've been fiending stuff for like it. This you see my happen when the game boy, come Fanta. Out. So, once again, this is my opinion. I Pump don't fake. think. I don't think this is going to happen. But at the same time, that's not a bad shot. I mean, in the video game terms, that's a shot you can make. That's a shot you can make in video game terms because they saying the hands are not up. So, but I believe that this shot would be difficult unless you're a good player. The, hear me out. I believe that this shot will be difficult if you are not a good shooter. Because why? They did jump. They jumped. I need it ASAP, man. I've been fiending for Let's it, bro. I've been it. fiending for it. You see my boy Fanta? They jump. He pump fake. Pump fake. Boom. No contest. In a video game, I think only good players will make this shot. I don't think everybody's going to hit this shot. I'm telling you right now, I don't believe everybody's going to hit that shot. No, if I start to see a bunch of motherfuckers hitting these shots, then you know what that means? First of all, I'm going to say, all right, let's put a hand up. If a motherfucker starts shooting these type of shots with our hands up, then now you're going to see Anonymous coming to YouTube to complain. But once again, this is not the game we will be playing in 2K24. 
This was a test subject right here. So we're not going to put too much weight on nothing gameplay. Everybody that fucks with me, we're not going to put no pressure on 2K for what they're showing us in this gameplay. We're just going to let it ride. Let it ride. In previous years, uh, that was green. In previous years, that would definitely be contested. But I'm telling you, man, in 2K24, you got to have your hands up, bro. You got to have your hands up. So at Community Day, basically, they only played halves until the finals. There was a rec tournament. Unfortunately, I was not a part of it. Um, but this is some gameplay. Uh, my boy, Tough NYC. Make sure y'all go subscribe to him. Link in description. Um, but this gameplay was up against Solo, Double H, and your boy, Tonio. Okay? I can't remember who else was on um, because it doesn't show the names. But look at the new build names. I mean, you got you got crazy build names. Um, Iggy Mo, I don't know if y'all checked it out, but... Iggy Mo's build is literally called a hybrid defender. He's got a popper. I'm sure that's going to be fire. But this is some pretty good gameplay right here. I'm pretty sure Fano went off this game. My boy Hollywood went crazy too. Iggy with the free little dunk. <laughs> and uh, y'all got to pee, man. My boy Tonio is on a center. Number 10 running up the court right there with the ball. And Y'all got to pee, man. Look at look at how tough his garden is, dude. And my boy Tonio is on a center. Number 10 running up the court right there. Yo, look at that. Look at that. Look at did y'all see it? Look at this. And uh, y'all got to pee. Once again, once again, I want you to see the contact that 2K is allowing in 24. That's important, man. That's important. Hey, man, my boy Tonio is on a center. Number 10. Run look at that. Look at that. 2K has been doing a bad job at creating contact. It's why people are able to go through us. When you make contact like this, you are stopping the game from Don't. allowing people to just walk through somebody. Now you're saying, hey, there's a body right there. Physics is a, being applied. There's no collision. Yes, it is. Look, pay attention. And uh, y'all got to peep, man. My boy. Look, that's collision. Do you see that? That's collision. They have collision in 24. Do you see this animation? That means that he bumped. Oh, you were saying in 23. Okay, my bad, my bad. Yes, in 23, there is no collision in 23. There is no physics to physics, which make it hard to play defense. But in 24, once again, like I said, we're not going to judge everything about gameplay. We're going to judge the thing that we know can be translated to 24. The adrenaline bars, the hairstyles. Now, you're gonna not going to look at the whole game and say, okay, this is going to be 24. But the collision, I'm thinking 100% this collision type of gameplay will be in 24, the real game. Tonio is on a Look at this. He stopped. Center. He stopped. Look at More collision. You see how he got his left arm out? More collision. Look at this. This is... Now we're going to actually be able to play defense. Now we're going to actually be able to play defense, dog. Now, everybody won't be able to do this, of course, because you're going to have to have the badges. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to have good, uh, you're going to have to have good stick skills. Everybody won't be able to do this. But the fact that the people that are good are going to be able to create this collision and make the offensive player have to make decisions as the point guard. Number 10, running up the court right there that. with the ball, and he went. Hey, that's what I fucking need to see. I, if, if defense going to work, it's going to have to have physics applied to it. And that's what I'm seeing. All right. So far, so good. Now I just need to see the real game. So far, so good. Crazy in this game. You guys are going to see. Like, look at that contested layup go in. This is why I'm saying I don't think that it's on Hall of Fame or Park difficulty. Look at Fanta from the left wing. Bang! Big sprites. We're bringing them back this year. Hey, but shout out to Coda, man. We got a lot of news we got to get to, so we're going to keep it moving. Shout out to Coda, man. Look, great fucking video. We appreciate you keeping it in the G. You know what I'm saying? You said, hey, you don't know if it's on Hall of Fame. You know it's not on Hall of Fame. We can tell. And you, and you stated that. And you stated some things that you say, hey, you don't got your hands up. You out there playing stupid defense, you're going to get treated like a stupid defender, you know? So, shout out to Coda, man. Great video, y'all. Make sure y'all go hit that like button. And if you really enjoy this content, please sub up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, um, hey, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far, man. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Let's go on to our next one. Right. That little on the